Hey guys, welcome back to my kids' YouTube channel, Cindy Inspires. But before I get started, make sure you click the thumbs up button down below if you like this video, and click the subscribe button down below if you want to subscribe to my channel and see this video and all my other videos. So let's get started. For today's inspirational quote, it's, if you never try, you'll never know. Which means if you never try something, you don't know if you're going to like it, you don't know if you're going to be good at it, and you may not be good at it, but that's okay. So, um, so yeah. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a fruit, and it's called tamario. Yeah, it has two silent L L's, but I don't know why. It's just weird. So it's called Tomadio, and it's a mix between papaya and a tomato. So I have a few facts for you guys, and I have little cards here, just so if I forget some of them, I can just look and see. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So, tamarillo fruit is native to South America and Central America. And in the U.S., they're usually grown in California. And they're rich in vitamins A, um, vitamins B6, C, E, fiber, and antioxidants. And then, many people think it tastes like tomato, passion fruit, kiwi, and even guava, which is my favorite fruit. So I hope I like it because it, they think it tastes like guava, so I hope I do. So yeah. And then tamarillos are also, <laughs> are also known as tree tomatoes. And it's a small oval shaped fruit that can come in yellow or red. Mine is red. So this is what it looks like. So like I said, mine is red. It has a little stem. And so, yeah. And then um, the flesh inside is orange with a lot of edible um, seeds that are black. And the skin is bitter, so people typically don't eat it. Um, and then red tamaria, tamarios can be found um, year-round, but their peak seasons are um, now... Um, through the fall, um, is now in the fall and through winter. And then I'm gonna flip this. And the red tomatoes are usually eaten fresh because they have a sweet, tangy flavor, but they can be used in um, soups and stews or even sliced and put in salads. And you can even blend it in a smoothie. So I'm probably gonna try that one time because I love making smoothies. And then you can keep it at room temperature until it's ripe or in the refrigerator up to 10 days. And then ripe tomatillo will have a red color all over it and be a little soft to the touch. And then you should probably look for tomatillos without any bruising because those are better. I bet you probably don't want bruising. And so all the steps, there's only three steps. All you have to do is wash it in cool water, cut it in half, and then you can sprinkle with sugar and scoop it out with a, scoop out the flesh with a spoon. So I have a spoon right here. And I also have some sugar on my plate. I don't know if you can tell right there, but I do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my trusty knife and I'm gonna put it on my plate. I'm gonna cut the little part that has the stem. I just cut this part. And, and then I'm gonna cut it in half, like this. I don't know. And so this is what the inside looks like. I don't see black seeds, but I do see lots of seeds. And sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. And so it is orange inside. 
and so yeah so now I'm gonna try it so first I'm gonna dip it in sugar and try it and then the second one I'm not gonna try with sugar so I'm gonna okay so I just got juice in my sugar but that's okay so I have it and I guess I'll dip it in this I guess I'll dip it in the sugar and try it. Can I have a napkin, please? Thank you. So, it is a little bit sour, a tart in the inside, which I like. And it's also a little sweet. Um... I feel like it does taste a little bit like papaya. And there's one part of it that I just don't like because I don't like papaya. But I feel like I feel like at the very end, once I finish chewing, I taste the papaya, which I don't like. But then in the very beginning, once I bite into it, it tastes good. I don't know. I have really weird taste. But, yeah. And so it tastes good. I liked it, just not really in the end. And then I'm gonna scoop this one out. Oh, oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna use the same piece and bite out of it without sugar. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't really like it that much. But, um, so I don't really like it because of the papaya. I feel like with sugar, it's just like too sour. And it's not as sweet. Um, and I feel like it tastes really bad to me. <laughs> but I still encourage you to try it because you may like it. Because, again, my taste buds are very weird. And... So, um, yeah, so I don't, so it's very soft and there's no like crunchiness. I don't, I don't care if it's soft or crunchy, all of it's still, you know, I don't care about the texture. It's just I didn't like the flavor a lot. And the seeds were definitely edible. They were super soft. Um, they didn't taste like anything. They're just seeds. Like if you have a watermelon, they're just like, they taste like nothing. And then, um, so, yeah, um, so, yeah, that's how I think it tastes. With the sugar, I feel like it's a little better, but, I mean, not much. So, like I said, I still encourage you to try it, because you may like it, even though I kind of hated it. But, so, if you find this fruit, I encourage you to try it and because you may like it so yeah that's my video on the tamario um fruit even though that even though i didn't like it and so yeah i hope i inspired you to try something new and inspire others too bye guys see you next time with sydney inspires